Hello, Dot Hamilton from First National Property Solutions on the Gold Coast here to uh, give you the September wrap up. Sorry, it's a bit late. Uh, been a lot happening with the change of legislation, so I've um, been trying to uh, keep up to date with um, all the different things that have been happening there. Uh, what we've noticed this month already in the first two weeks is the pet applications. So uh, we, we did anticipate we would receive quite a few uh, pet applications from tenants that are in properties that are um, not don't have pets at the moment. So we're wading our way through them at the moment. Obviously our biggest problem is body corporates. Body corporate um, committees didn't seem to be too ready for this new legislation and are struggling to get their, um, their approval or um, declining the pets within the 14 days. So we're struggling with that at the moment, but um, getting through it, but we are getting a lot of applications from tenants to have pets at their rental properties, which is not surprising, we expected that. Uh, month of September rained and rained and rained and rained. Um, so lots of leaking roofs, um, lots of mould, uh, which has, hasn't really stopped raining here since last November. So we've been experiencing quite a lot of mould. Um, have been doing a lot of education with our landlords and our tenants between um, landlord responsibility mould and tenant responsibility mould. So um, have been doing a lot of uh, education with that. So that's been um, uh, quite interesting and quite informative for a lot of people. Um, hopefully the weather will pick up, but I don't see it happening between now and Christmas. So we're still monitoring mould, we're still monitoring damp issues. Um, another issue that we're having at the moment is driveways. So exposed ag and any timber decking uh, with the rain and the moisture, um, doing a lot of gurneying of exposed ag driveways and pathways and timber decking and timber um, walkways at the moment. So if your property manager calls you and says we need some gurneying done, because we have a slip and fall issue, please get back to them straight away. We, um, we've been lucky, um, touch wood, we haven't had any, um, any incidences as yet, but we have picked up a few potential incidents, but we do have a, another uh, First National office in our area that is actually um, got a lawsuit um, uh, happening at the moment in regard to a slip and fall on a damp surface. So it is, it is something that can happen and it's not something that you want um, on your property. So if your property manager does call you and say we need to um, do something about some potential slip and fall, please get onto it straight away. Uh, September, the figures, 1178 inquiries, a bit down on last year, but then last year we were in COVID, so it's to be expected. We had 283 potential tenants inspect the properties. Again, zero vacancy. So that was pretty good considering how few properties we had available. We did lease 13 properties this month. Um, but that's not to, uh, to say how many properties um, were available. It's, it's again, it's, it's really, really tough on the coast at the moment. I do feel for all of the tenants. We're getting calls every day from people just in tears and just desperate for a property. So it's pretty heartbreaking here on the coast. Um, 64 inspections, 147 applications, which again is really, really, really down on what we had this time last year. 100% um, of the tenants paying rent on time. We have no arrears at all, which is um, a testament to the tenants that are in the properties now. They, they value the fact that they have a very good place to live, so they're paying their rent on time. Um, and again, absolute zero vacancy rate. So if you do have a property for lease, um, please give us a call, 555 myself or Sonia, Sonia Scott, more than happy to come out, give you an appraisal, look at the property, tell you what you need to do to get it rented lowest days on market. Um, I think um, there are some properties on the internet at the moment. Um, you'll see that they, um, they're quite well priced, but they've been on there for two, three weeks. Um, there's two properties on and no on there in Palm Beach that have been on there for over 28 days. So that's four weeks rent you've lost and maybe it would have just taken maybe dropping it $10, $15 to actually get into the marketplace for that tenant. So being aware of um, the advice that your property manager gives you, um, it's all well and good to say everybody it's a crisis and you can put whatever rent you want on it. Unfortunately, that's not the case. We still, people are still canny enough to know that they they still need to, they would still want to pay market rent. So um, ring, a, ring, a, ring us, ring a property manager and get some advice, get them to do a comparative market analysis on what's for lease in the area and what has recently leased in the area and make an informed decision on that. So thanks for joining us. Um, we are wading through the, pop, the, um, the new legislation. There's um, all bits and pieces on um, 
uh, maintenance and repairs. So uh, waiting our way through that at the moment, getting the new forms in place um, and also lease renewal. So um, getting new systems in place for all of that with all of the new paperwork. So um, October is shaping up to be a bit the same as September. Again, hasn't stopped raining, miserable, cold, um, tenants are just hunkering down, staying home. All the routine inspections we're doing, most of the tenants are home, which is really nice. It's lovely to catch up with them and, and um, you know, get to know them a bit. Um, school holidays um, have finished, so we've got a lot of people home doing a bit of spring cleaning. Um, again, Sonia and I are here. We're here all the time. Triple five double nine six hundred. if you need any advice on the new legislation, of, even if you're a private landlord and you're not sure how that affects you and your current lease agreement and your, your lease situation with your current tenants, please give us a call. We're more than happy to help. See you at the end of October.